E-Learning Jamaica Limited, in association with the Ministry of Education and Zed Jamaica Limited, present a series of e-learning videos geared towards preparing students for CXC examinations. This series focuses on biology. There are 10 videos, each lasting 20 minutes. Your narrator, Michael Anthony Cuff. Learning Outcome At the end of this section, you will be able to Define mitosis Outline the process of mitosis Describe the role of mitosis in growth Approximately 2 trillion cells make up the body. All of these cells are derived from a single cell at the start of your life as a fertilized egg. In each successful cell division, genetic material is equally partitioned between the resulting two cells. The offspring are therefore genetically identical to each other and to their parent. In other words, they are clones. This process is called mitosis. Mitosis is the form of cell division that leads to the formation of two cells which are identical to their parent. Before we go on to describe the process of mitosis, you should already know what a cell is and the various parts of a cell. The parts of the cell that are especially important to this section are the nucleus, the nucleolus, the chromosomes, and the centrioles. If you recall, the nucleus is like the brain of the cell. It controls all the activities of the cell. The nucleus is surrounded by a membrane called a nuclear envelope. Inside the nucleus are thread-like structures called chromosomes. Chromosomes determine the characteristics of an organism and are made up of DNA. Directly outside the nucleus are two rod-like structures called centrioles. These centrioles form spindle fibers which play an important role in cell division. What are the functions of mitosis in living organisms? Mitosis is the cell division that occurs during growth. It allows an organism to replace old or damaged cells and is the basis for asexual reproduction. On a daily basis, our bodies have to replace damaged or worn out tissues. Every time your skin rubs on a surface, some of your skin cells are removed. Can you imagine what would happen if these skin cells were not replaced? New skin cells are constantly being made to replace the old ones. The new cells are made by mitosis. If you damage your toe, new cells are made via mitosis during the healing process. When a carrot grows in the vegetable rack, it does so via mitosis, so the new cells which are formed have their identical genetic material as the original carrot. Let us look how this type of cell division called mitosis occurs. Cell division is the foundation or cornerstone of life. It is synonymous to the foundation of any building or house, with each cell being similar in function to each brick in the walls of a building. Mitosis occurs in all body cells except sex cells. Another name for body cells is somatic cells, and sex cells are called gametes. Cell division occurs inside the nucleus. Mitosis occurs in five stages. These are interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. The first stage of mitosis is interphase. During interphase, the cell has the appearance of a normal cell. The chromosomes are not visible. They exist as long, thin strands called chromatin threads. Chromatin is made up of 40% DNA and 60% protein. It is at this stage the DNA starts to replicate itself.
The second stage of mitosis is called prophase. During prophase, the chromosomes replicate and become visible. Each chromosome is made up of two chromatids, and these chromatids are held together by a centromere. The centrioles, which are usually beside each other, move to opposite ends of the cell. The nucleolus disappears, and the nuclear envelope breaks down. The centrioles are important during cell division. They form fibers called spindle fibers. These fibers attach themselves to the centromere on each chromosome. The third phase of mitosis is metaphase. At this stage, the chromosome line up around the equator of the spindle fibers. These fibers attach themselves to the centromere on each chromosome and pull the chromosome apart. The fourth stage of mitosis is called anaphase. At this stage, the centromere splits into two, and the spindle fibers pull the centromere to opposite ends of the cell. The chromosome is also split into two chromatids. The chromatids are pulled to opposite ends of the cells behind the centromere. The final phase of mitosis is called telophase. When the chromatids reach the opposite ends of the cell, they unravel to form chromatin again. The spindle fibers break down and the centrioles replicate themselves. The nuclear membrane reforms around the chromosomes at the end of the cell. This leads to the formation of two nuclei. Telophase is usually followed by cytokinesis, which is the physical division of the cytoplasm into two daughter cells. Explain the role of mitosis in asexual reproduction. Explain why asexual reproduction gives rise to identical offspring.